Italy aggressively invaded Ethiopia in 1935 with 120,000 soldiers, and the nascent League of Nations disappointed Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie in its ability to maintain world peace. The Italian army attacked both soldiers and civilians with mustard gas, so Haile Selassie brought his concerns to the League of Nations. The deadly rain that fell from the aircraft made all those whom it touched fly shrieking with pain. In the tens of thousands, the victims of Italian mustard gas fell. It is in order to denounce to the civilized world the tortures inflicted upon the Ethiopian people that I have resolved to come to Geneva. By the intentionally failed design of the international system, Europe and the League of Nations left Haile Selassie's pleas from June 30, 1936, unanswered. Ethiopia was a founding member of the League of Nations since 1923, but the League failed to protect Ethiopia because European member states did not view an African member state as equal. In fact, Britain made a secret treaty with Italy to reorganize Italian influence in Africa during January 1935. Europe used procedure against Ethiopia and when once the Arbitration Council was set up, pressure was exerted so that an award favorable to Italy should be given. Moreover, European states refused to arm Selassie and Ethiopia, and only after Italy declared war on Britain did British policy on Ethiopia change. It took violence for Selassie to retake the capital, Addis Ababa, by May 1941. Because the international system, the League of Nations, refused to step in, the maintenance of Ethiopian sovereignty was an example of successful violent decolonization. Violent decolonization often took place in the settled states, but it also took place where African states resisted incoming European imperialism. The League of Nations was a failure because it failed to protect one of its founding members against European imperialism.